Then we got another clean BBCT. I actually picked this one up from Privé. And like I said before, guys, pay attention down below in the description box. Any types of codes, links, sales that I can give you guys will be down there. All the info below. So if you see somebody comment that question, hey, tell them to peep the description. And if you comment that question, I'm not an asshole. I'm not ignoring you, but I, I left it in the description, bro. I was, I was trying to help you, bro. I was trying to help you out. Anyways, getting into the shirt, like I said, I am 6'1". 210 so for me in bbc shirts i wear a size extra large i definitely can't do a large i feel like that would definitely be too small and the way these are made if you mess up in the washer the dryer if these things shrink uh, these things will definitely shrink on you so whenever you're washing anything you don't want to shrink always wash on cold hang dry besides that it's still a dope tee in general just got your bbc astronaut on the back and then you have the helmet on the front you know what i'm saying salutes to pharrell as always on the Billionaire Boys Club Love. Next up, then we got the baseball jersey. This is our home not for sale jersey from Sample Industries. And I don't think I got any good close up pictures of the actual sleeve. It's actually a black on black ink. There's kind of a tiger stripe feel to it. Um, and on the front, as you guys can see, just have your huge Sample Industries logo, kind of similar to those Orioles colorways, black, white, and orange. On the back, we got not for sale, really big with the year. Of course, we started in 2015. That is why it says 15 on the back. Now for me, I wear, like I said, between a size large to extra large. And with my baseball jerseys, I always like to go a size up or at least that bigger size because that allows me to wear this any time of the year. I can wear it in the summer. I can also wear it in the winter because I can throw on a hoodie or whatever I want to right underneath it and still look clean. When you have black and orange, you guys know that olive looks good underneath of it, even a black hoodie, wherever the case may be. So it just extends the life of your jerseys farther than just spring and summer. It extends them all the way into winter, um, which is why I love jerseys. You guys know I made like a uh, top 10 things for the winter and the fall, and jerseys were one of the things. That is the not for sale jersey. This is the home version. We do have tagging on the bottom as well. Next up, now switching to some shorts. This is a brand I know a lot of you guys have told me to check out, and until recently, I had not checked them out. And that is right here. You guys know I mentioned back when I picked up the multicolor fly knits, I went in PacSun and tried out bullhead denim and bullhead shorts. I definitely recommend you guys checking their stuff out. I know you guys usually have a PacSun in your mall or whatever. And if you're shopping online, you can feel pretty comfortable shopping with them. I know pants are kind of weird, um, but if I can help in any way, I will. So my size for pants is usually a 34 to a 36. Usually when something runs skinnier, I go for the 36. If it's more of a slim, I can usually do a 34. And if need be, you know, I hop back to the 36. As you guys can see, this is an all over camel print short. Now they do mark these as skinny. And this is actually a size medium and they fit me fine. They don't really fit me too much differently than the actual size large in my opinion. And I actually really like these camo shorts. I really don't have any camo like slim fitted cargo shorts. So definitely shout out to Bullhead for these and it's not too expensive, you know what I'm saying? It's not gonna hit your wallet too hard. So definitely check these out if you can. Like I said, links will be below. Next up guys, for the summer, don't be afraid of the bright colors, you know what I'm saying? Don't don't be afraid. It's okay, you know, just as well as you guys love the blacks, the greens, the whites, the simple colors, don't be afraid to step out of the box sometimes. So with that being said, and you know, in light of recent events, I'm pretty sure someone's gonna comment on this shirt, but this is the Florida Gator Tee from Crooked Arrows US. Um, this is an extremely bright yellow tee. It says Florida across the front. And then you have your Crooked Arrow logo on the back with the gator biting the arrow on the back. And like I said, guys, don't be afraid of the bright colors this summer 16. I think this is an extremely dope t-shirt. I really like the color. And um, you guys are going to see a lot more color in this haul. I think a lot more than usual coming up. So that was the Crooked Arrows Florida Gator joint. Next up, we got this Stussy T right here. And this is actually like... It's more of a heavier weight t-shirt. It's not like heavy, too heavy to the point where you can't wear it in the summer because I wore it a few days ago. Uh, but it says Stussy International in the back. And I don't know the specific style of shirt this is, but I've seen millions on top of millions of people with those outer banks. Um, extremely hard for me to explain what these shirts are called, but I'm pretty sure you've seen something similar to it. 
Um, but this one is really, really dope. It's from Susie. It's on all over mint blue with the white on the back. And um, I've actually had this for a little while and people were asking me about it when I wore it. I think I wore it in a Will You Cop video. Uh, but like I said, I got this on sale at Urban Outfitters. There was a 25% off sale. And I have a few more things I got from Urban Outfitters as well. But I just wanted to definitely show this on camera all over mint blue Stussy joint. Um, it is a little bit heavier, but it is a boxier fit. Still a good go for the summertime. Definitely a dope find on Urban Outfitters for that sale. Next up. This one right here is probably one of my more random finds. And this one I found once again when I was in the mall. I was actually shopping around the H&M. And I don't know what it was about this t-shirt, but I really liked it. It's an all over white pocket tee. And on the back, I think it was just the font that I really liked. It says, everybody must do their part. I guess I can get a little bit closer as so you guys can see on the back. Everybody must do their part on the back. And once again, this was just some random $10 to $12 shirt that I found in H&M. The pocket says the same thing. Everybody must do their part with the E in the inside. I got my eyes in a size extra large. I'm not sure, it's just one of those items where you walk in the store, you're not really expecting to find a shirt, and then you find one, you're like, oh, this kind of dope. I don't know why I like it, but I kind of, you know, I mess with it. So I copped it. Once again, from H&M, size extra large. It was like 10 or 12 bucks. Nothing too crazy, so I don't really think people are going to be on it like that. You know, some stuff that drops at H&M, people are on it instantly and it sells out. But this one, I'm pretty sure if you like the t-shirt, you can probably find it online. And if you can't find it online, you probably can find it in store somewhere. Everybody must do their part. Pocket tee. Once again, I don't know. Just It was just dope to me. Next tee we got right here is once again from Preve. It is another helmet billionaire boys club tee. My favorite thing about this one was just the colors and the way it looks. The graphic on the front kind of has this like comic book strip kind of feel with the polka dots on the front. Then you got your classic billionaire boys club arc look going on the back. I don't really need to get too much in depth in this one. Basically an all black tee with your big helmet logo on the front. This one is all about colors and that's it. Just a clean and pristine billionaire boys club t-shirt. Always respected, always clean. Next up. Now this next pickup, I had to step back into my 10 deep god days. And right here is the 10th division. It's a 10 deep t-shirt. As you can see, it's kind of a dip pink dye tee. Uh, brand new. I've actually had this one sitting around for a while. I just didn't want to wear it before the video. Um, still got the tag on it. My favorite thing has to be on the back, the 10th division, 10 deep. Has that wavy lettering similar to anti-social social club. And um, yeah, man, I just thought it was a clean t-shirt in general. Um, not too much going on, but you guys know I like the tie-dye, I like the dip dye. Um, and I'm really messing with the pink. Man, somebody's gonna make a joke about that. I'm really messing with the pink for this summer 16. So that is what it is. 10 Deep God is still in effect from time to time. I don't cop as much as I used to, but I definitely scoop here and there. 10 Division, 10 Deep shirt. Dope, once again, got this off of Jack Threads. Next pickup. I grabbed this next shirt off of a Urban Outfitter sale and it blew my mind that this shirt was on sale on the site full size run and I feel like it's still there in a full size run because this joint was dope for 28 bucks. It's usually only 34 and that is this Bravado Guns N' Roses all over tie dye t-shirt. This joint is crazy for only 34 bucks. All that printing, all those colors, like $34. This is probably one of the best $34 I spent, especially on a rock tour type t-shirt. Um, actually, Hold on guys, let me let me do this because I know someone's typing right now. Whew, all right, gotta do this again. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, man. Guys, you see him? He doesn't even he doesn't even listen to Guns N' Roses, man. He's just he's just he's just a hype piece, guys, man. I'm trying to tell you guys, I've been trying to tell you guys this whole time. He's a hype piece. He's a hype piece. <sighs> okay. Sorry, I just had to do that. You guys know I have to insert the uh, angry keyboard typer somewhere in the video sometimes because I know they're here. I know they're going to be here somewhere. But like I was saying, yo, an extremely dope Guns N' Roses tour t-shirt, man. I know it's not an official shirt, nothing like that. It's just a reprint, um, but I really like the all over tie-dye. This joint is clean. I wore it with my Metallic Navy ones a go. If you like shirts, this is 34 bucks. Look at all the printing. Look at the tie-dye. I mean, just for the value itself. Insane. Next up. Now this one right here is actually from Black Market USA. If you guys couldn't tell by the black marker on the front of this one. It is a oversized kind of fit. So I did get an XL and it does fit me a little big, but it's not too bad. It just has black marking and kind of this spiral effect on the back. My thing, my main thing was with this shirt was the colorway. 
um, just the mint kind of, it's like, kind of more of a dark mint colorway. Um, and then you have the white on the front. It was just an, a dope t-shirt. I thought it would look good with some black jeans. Maybe throw on the ultra boots, maybe throw on the all white prestos. Um, just a good look. And like I said before, this shirt is extremely lightweight. Definitely good for the summer. I'm not sure if they have any more on the site at the moment because like I said, I caught this off of a 50% off sale on Black Market USA. And when they do those sales, stuff tends to fly. Um, so if you want to be notified on that, just follow me on Instagram turn your post notifications on or you know just check out the newsletter on the site and they'll now keep you in line once again this black market kind of warped logo t-shirt got mine in the size extra large mint and white good to go lightweight clean for the summer next up right here we have the away not for sale jersey from sample industries sample 15 on the front and a script all over double layer tackle tool on the front and the back not for sale as you can see right here on the sleeve of this one, it does have the sample industries. You guys know on the sleeves of the last jersey, you kind of had those tiger stripe accents. On this one, we threw a sample industries logo just like that. So it has your same tagging on the bottom, 2015 until official player, XL with the classic baseball tags. Just to repeat what I said before for fitting, if you're deciding to go your true size or you're afraid it's too small, don't be afraid to go a size up. I wear a size extra large in this and that still allows me to wear a hoodie underneath of it. And that is it for this jersey, like I said, releasing. And that's it for the jersey Summer Days Collection releasing Saturday, June 18th, 8 p.m. Hopefully I can get this video up before then. If not, hopefully something is still there for you guys to grab. <laughs>